What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Protego and Lens Rentals and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at some lens tests of the Zeiss CP3s. Now I have a full set here with me from 18 millimeters, 25, 35, 50, 85, and 135 millimeters. And we're gonna be going through a bunch of tests on all of these different lenses from breathing, distortion, sharpness, bokeh, flaring, as well as checking the close focus of all of these lenses. So I'm super excited to get into this, show you guys what these lenses can do. So let's get started. All right, so we have a ton of lenses to test out today. We're gonna to start off with the widest focal length and we're gonna to go to our telephoto ones. I'm kinda of just gonna go through each test on this 18 millimeter and then you can jump ahead to whatever focal length you wanna check out and it's gonna be the same exact test so all of this is going to apply to them. So this first test that we're doing is the breathing test. So we're gonna be racking focus from close focus to infinity to see how much the lens zooms in and out as we go through that focus range. As you can see with this 18 millimeter, it's not very noticeable. Where you're really gonna see this is with some of those longer focal lengths when you get down into like the 50, 85, and 135 millimeters. The next test that we're gonna do is a bokeh test. So this one, we're gonna go through the aperture range. So for this lens, it's a T2.9, and we're gonna go all the way down to a T22, close down to a T22. And you really wanna look at the bokeh in the background and the out of focus areas to see how smooth that roll off is, as well as those highlight points and kind of what the characteristics of the bokeh. And now we'll look at them at each stop. So here it is at a 2.9, here it is at a four, 5.6, eight, 11, 16, and 22. And then we're gonna go wide open again, all the way down to a T 2.9 for this 18 millimeter. The next test is checking the edge distortion and sharpness. So looking at the sharpness at the center focus, as well as panning from side to side. So as I start moving over to the side here, you can see the distortion and the sharpness on the side. It actually keeps it pretty sharp all the way onto those edges. And you get a little bit of that sort of stretching distortion, but you don't see any barrel distortion where it starts to curve the lines on the edges. So this 18 millimeter is definitely sharp towards those edges and has very little distortion for an 18 millimeter. The next test, which is probably my favorite test to run, is a flaring test because all these lenses have different elements in there and they flare differently. I'm gonna start off with the light on sort of a dimmer setting and then we'll go and we'll bump it up to a brighter setting here, which is where you're really gonna start to see some of those flares. You get some really nice light in there, some cool bursts as it's right outside of frame, some nice blue orbs in there as you go around, really clean and smooth looking, super nice flares. The last thing we're gonna look at is the close focus for each of these lenses. And the close focus for the 18 millimeters is at 12 inches. So I'm just gonna put my hand right into that 12 inch area so you can see sort of the scale of what you get at 12 inches with an 18 millimeter. So those are all the tests that we're gonna be looking at with these different lenses. If you wanna jump to a specific lens, I'm putting a time code for it in the description down below. So definitely go and check that out. All right, so that was the 18 millimeter. Next up, let's check out the 25. Next in the lineup is going to be the 35 millimeter.
Next up is the 50 millimeter. Getting to some of the longer focal lengths now, we're going to be checking out the 85mm. Lastly, we're going to check out the longest focal length in the CP3 setup, and that is the 135.
If you have any questions about the Zeiss CP3 set, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna check out some other lens tests as we have a ton of these over on our site, I'm gonna throw a link to a playlist up here and at the end of the video. So definitely check that out if you're interested in learning about more about other lenses. If you guys wanna check these out and try them for your next project, there's gonna be a link in the description down below, so definitely go and do that. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more just like it, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.